Howdy, YouTube folks. It's your friendly, you what used to be Spirit Wolf, aka your girl, Ellen. I decided to change the name of my YouTube channel, and I thought I would make a video, video describing that. Also, because I have not made a video in a while, because my video making skills, I do realize are quite lacking, especially because I'm an autistic transgender woman, I feel that. Because I have a more mm, maleish voice because I went through puberty and also my autism. I hope you guys can hear me clearly, plus I'm not working on the greatest platform. Plus I admit I get kind of anxiety when I try to make videos, so that's why I haven't really been making them. I hope to someday have a camera and a tripod and possibly get over my anxiety of, <clears throat> excuse me, of my video making and also hope to document further in my transition, but I thought I would show you what I've been doing lately. I've been doing some really decluttering of my life. I know a lot of you started out on this channel because you saw me working on tractors and stuff like that which i think is eventually going to stop once i get done the ones i want to get done but i will update you because i just want to move on to different things in my life and i feel like all of you need an explanation for what i am doing but if you saw the one that video that i tried to do about uh, wanting to be a seamstress, not necessarily as a profession, but just kind of like getting into sewing because I'm just trying to really become one with myself and explore myself truly. And it's been a lot of ups and downs and emotions also that I have not for say, um, made me want to do videos, and also, uh, recently, I've had a death in the family, so, that doesn't really help a whole lot, and, um, yeah, but I'm trying to get better at the piano, and if I get really good at the piano, I would like to get a better camera set up, and try to make, um, better videos for y'all on that i'm also gonna work more with the banjo and that fiddle that's in the case behind there and i am hopefully today as i'm posting this video getting a guitar and i will do a short with a clip of a picture of the guitar that i'm getting because i think it is something that i really I'm excited about and I love the color of it. It's a mint green. It was either the mint green or the pink one. But I opted for the mint green. Oh, and while I'm sh talking through the camera and kind of just as I was panning to show you my what I've been through, uh, you get to see a glimpse of a TV that I don't think I've ever shown on this YouTube channel that I may do an in-depth show on. I accidentally broke the flap where the VCR goes. I'm going to locate a new flap at some point. I would love to make the VCR work on this TV, but I also have a better VCR. So this TV may someday end up going to the appliance dump because I just, it works. It's just a VCR does not work and I can hook up a converter box and get cable that I bought for this TV, v, but I don't really, but this TV doesn't really need that. I can just hook up cable to it and it's fine. But there's, it, it's just so old and I have a newer flat screen, which I'm also going to be downsizing. And I think my mother's going to end up with this old flat screen when I downsize, but it's just something I want to do. Because I want to make a a wooden box that looks more retro that I'm that I might show how to on 
to mount a smaller flat screen into so it looks like a retro tv in a modern setting i still have it, i believe i've done a video on youtube about them or somewhere i still have the brown tv that was my grandpa daniels and another television that i traded a bunch of radios for and i will have to look back on my youtube videos but please feel free to comment as well If you haven't seen a video on those, because I will make a video on them. But I kind of just want to pre preface everybody that what I originally planned on doing with this YouTube channel, you probably will see a little bit on like tractors and gardening and stuff. But I just don't think I want to do tractors anymore because it's not really my passion and I kind of just did it as a filler hobby and if I get really good at videos I may end up deleting a lot of my older videos sadly but it's probably going to happen because again I'm just I think my older videos are really shoddy and I've listened to the audio and I've taken advice from people but I think it's just the way my voice is, and I don't know if I will ever fully be good at YouTube 100%, but I'm the real me, the raw me, and I hope you guys that have been watching my videos stay along for the ride, but also, like I said, realize that I am probably gonna phase out of any, like, small engine-based stuff, because, again, like I said... I know the basics about mechanicals and stuff like that, and I'm okay with mechanicals, but I'm not really that good, and I'm a tinkerer, and majority of the stuff that I've ever worked on, I've never had much luck getting going, and I realize that I can't keep messing around with things that I don't have a drive or passion for, because... Uh, that's just not what I'm into, really, and I kind of just did it in the past out of necessity, and I did okay, but I'm realizing as I go through life and I go through my transition that it's just not something I really enjoy, and I know there are some women out there that do like to do mechanical stuff, but I just never really did. It was just a way for me to fit in with a more manly role. And, uh, recently, as I have b gotten back into trying mechanicals again, and, like, as you've seen on my videos in recent year, more recent years, than what I did in the past that I did not document, I've found the same problem that I just have had a bad strike of luck getting ones that aren't really for say worth fixing up or that I mess up somewhere when I'm trying to fix them and I, it's just made me realize that I'm not as good of a mechanic as I tried to portray myself to be and I have to come to terms and admit that. I mean I found that I'm better if I'm working on like a car or a larger farm tractor but small equipment I've just never been that great I can do the basics like carb cleaning and stuff like that but otherwise I'm just uh and I know about all the parts and how they work and how they function it's just always been really hard for me to grasp it because it's just something that I think deep down I just never really wanted to do but I again like I said I was trying to fill a role in my life and so I hope you guys understand and I hope a lot of you stay but I realize I might lose some of the viewer content that I'm gonna lose once I make the transition switch over to a different type of format I'm thinking about someday maybe though and it's a possible someday Definitely, I want to get a vehicle, a decent vehicle I can drive around, and of course I'm going to get my truck fixed up, and I think I did a video on the Jubilee tractor, which I can do, that was my Uncle Johnny's that I bought, 
that I am definitely going to get fixed because those are two pieces I want to see. And you probably might see some outdoor stuff because I have considered getting into apple, making an apple orchard out in my backyard for a little bit of side money. Um, because I am decent at farming. I'm not like great, but I'm decent at farming. But I got done at my job where I was working my, the local vineyard I was working at because it was just burning me out and I also wanted to change careers but anyways so what I was going to say as I got on to something else uh, is that you may see a video someday of probably of me working on those but uh, maybe a van because I may be getting a van that was my uncle Sonny's and I believe I've mentioned that but also I've considered if ever in my life I really wanted to own one is getting one of the, either one of those old 70s Ford Econolines or something long like that and uh hopefully for those of you who stay along with the ride we'll see the end result but I'm thinking about because I've always been kind of a collector like that clock and, and mo mainly smalls and starting like a antiques business similar to like what Mike and Frank the American Pickers do but not on that big of a scale because I won't be going after like big big items only really like stuff that fits in the van and my thought idea is if I can make it work and I can get the right items and you know maybe do some repairs here and there if I pick up like vintage mixers and restore them to make them you know the best they can be so they're worth the most I do some videos on there same with radios and maybe like small tvs if i can make them work i would do some videos of repairing on that because i know a, a quite a little bit more about appliance than i do mechanicals like i said uh most of the mechanic work i've done is out of necessity but anyways starting a mobile antiques business type of thing like a like a picker almost but going around to flea markets and um antique shops and trying to sell my wares as well as possibly trading with like antique vendors at flea markets or antique shops for something that i think might be better for the first year or two i might try to sell more than i trade but eventually once i can get a collateral for it i might try to make it where I uh, I do a lot of bartering and trading. If I see something that might be better and I have an item that sits on whatever shelving unit I build, build in the van or however I have it set up in the van that sits in the van for a long period of time that I can't move, then I can always trade to someone who might have a better, excuse me, time at moving that item. And one thing you've never seen on YouTube that I've probably never mentioned also before I slowly get to closing this video as you get to see the loveliness of that TV. I should have flipped it around and panned it to me but I've also having a a uh, bad bad dysphoria day and it's just not I won't get into that. But anyways, um, I tried doing that a little bit in the past because at one time I was doing a business where I was trying to fix mowers to the best of my ability, but I, I slowly realized it just wasn't really for me. And to supplement the income for that business as I would buy tractors, and a lot of them I would end up taking and selling the most valuable parts off them and just scrapping them because I would, some of them that I would get were so junky looking and like they somebody had left them out in the weeds forever and I remember I had this contact that I would that I would buy from frequently but anyways I would go around and buy antiques and flip them for whatever money I could get like a a peddler almost is what I called it at the time to supplement for my small engines business so I was making an, a double income, so I knew I was always making a little bit of cash. In it. And I would go to 
yard sales, estate sales, and anytime I saw anything that I thought was really worth flipping, I would get it alongside if I saw any like small engine parts or stuff like that at the time. So I, at one time I was doing a kind of a business thing, but like I said, I lost a luster in it. Uh, I had an incident with a push mower once that was that I believe was a piece of junk and uh, I couldn't end up fixing it for the client and they weren't too thrilled and that was just the final straw with um, me and the small engine business I was I was saying to myself I just I can't work on these anymore because at least for a business because I'm finding I'm just struggling at really doing it as a business and enjoying it and also like i said when someone brings you a mower and expects you to fix it but they did something to it that may not make it repairable or it's just a piece of junk and you don't think it's worth it and you have to explain that to them and they don't want to hear it and you, you just don't really feel comfortable digging any deeper in it. And the multiples of stuff, it, that's what made me stop it as a business and say, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. And I ended up just letting a lot of that stuff go to scrap. But, um, like I said, in the videos you've seen me of doing tractors is recent, and I'm just getting sick of doing them. And I'm not really... I'm not really as first in it as I thought I was and not really enjoying it. And there's a, like I said, there's a lot of things I lack skills in on them. I know the basics, but when it comes to major overhauls, I'm not that great. And I can do a major overhaul and it's okay. But like there were a couple recently that I did a major overhaul and I don't think I realized that maybe the cylinder walls were so junk and one of them I kind of paid up with on but I that's my fault and uh, I went through all the motions of doing the whole rebuilding thing and just realized it wasn't for me and so anyways yeah but that's my goal is to start maybe a mobile antiques business. I want to get into LNA nursing, ideally. But if it doesn't pan out, I've been really trying to learn music because I've noticed that music is one of my main niches. And if I could get really good at acoustic guitar and get a good setup, I will do some videos for y'all. Same with banjo and the. Uh, violin dash fiddle and for the violin and the fiddle i really want to um for those of y'all who stay tuned i should say want to learn both violin and fiddle style mainly french canadian fiddle but definitely um want to do violin as well because i want to be able to be diverse in the music that i do so if say for some reason lna nursing did not work out for me and I found that it wasn't really my niche, that I would graduate to um, music maybe as a career and be able to be diverse in multiple music because I want to be a one-person band, a, a one-girl band, just at least to start if I was going to do music as a career and kind of like be instrumental and not any real singing I a lot of people a lot of you people will probably never see it because I feel like on camera it's not really that good but I could improve in a lot of ways but I actually for years was a really good good singer and I still kind of am but mostly in like a, a bluegrass baritone and, um, if, if I ever feel that I improve someday and my voice gets better and I feel more confident and less anxious on camera, I may also post up some videos of me singing, but that's something I've never really wanted to do to publicly, but I think because I have a little bit of like stage fright, but 
I do believe if I do get into music that at least being an instrumentalist and playing instruments instead of physically singing, I will be okay. I would be okay on a stage. And it's a career that I have thought doing and e thought about doing. And even if I just have it as a side gig in the LA LNA nursing as my main, but I have to go back to college. I do regret in my younger years that, um, and I will say this, and anyone who's transgender who it, could be watching this video will understand maybe what I mean. Is I do have autism, and some of you do, and autism does make you struggle, but I feel like because I was so depressed and I was kind of like trying to live in a male role. I didn't really apply myself through school, so I kind of lacked in a lot of ways, and now I'm trying to relearn things for myself and see if I can go back through school and then work my way to a diploma to get a college degree so I can do a profession that I actually enjoy, which would be one, like I said, LNA nursing, or possibly musician. I have two other options would be working with maybe like elderly in some form like an activities director for a nursing home or being able to do something in like child care maybe not necessarily teaching but like working at a daycare or, or someplace like that I also have a fallback as janitorial because that's something I've actually been pretty good in and uh, I do believe I would be okay as a bagger at a grocery store but I, and maybe stocking shelf, but I don't know about, um, I mean, I could get it done w with the shopping carts, too, but I don't know about cash register, because my math skills are kind of null and void, but, uh, I have been trying to work on my math skills, so who knows, maybe I'll advance myself, and the only reason I say that is because when I worked down at the local state park one year when I was younger volunteer they had me on the cash register and I just wasn't getting it very well and I was trying to explain to them that my math skills are not that great plus I needed a little extra explaining I felt like because of my autism and so finally they just put me in a position where they knew I could function without having to mess with the computers as much which was stacking firewood and doing half of the site cleaning. Uh, that wasn't a bad job, and I kind of enjoyed it, but I don't think nowadays I would want to do that job again. Uh, the job I really missed the most was when I first was transitioning from grade school to high school was a uh, uh, working at a thrift store. And those of you who live in Vermont will know the thrift store I'm talking about. And the place was called Recycle North, which is now changed to Resource. Uh, but you'll, but people who live in Vermont that have lived long enough probably will know what I'm talking about. And uh, uh, anyways, I remember working there at their Pine Street location in the Burlington area. And what we would do is stock shelves, but the beauty about working there is I would get a 25% off discount anytime I, uh, I, after work when I was all done my shift, because it was volunteer, and I had some money in my pocket, and I wanted to um, buy anything there. So that was the beauty about it, is I could get like, I remember I got my first record player there, I think it was only $5.00. A green one that I had for ages that I wished I had not stripped apart and and kept. I ended up part, stripping it apart and salvaging pieces out of it and then throwing the rest away because it stopped working right. But I kind because I got mad at it, but I kind of wished I'd kept it. Hindsight now, knowing the stuff I know a little bit more about now, is that I probably could have could have uh, done stuff differently. But anyways. So that was the beauty about working there is I could get like that kind of stuff. And it was really enjoyable and 
I don't, that's the one job I almost kind of wished I had kept because it was such a good job. And like I said, at the time it was volunteer, but I was also, I think, only 13 and I was trying to get my feet wet into working career. And I thought that would be the best way to get me a job that, or get myself into job career so people could see that I was professionally organized to work uh if if i could have find afford a, v, a decent vehicle right now and i could get a license i'd consider going back to a place like that in the greater burlington area because the, like i said that job was so much fun working in retail at the at the uh, thrifting end i also worked at the big appliance part of that at one point uh, throughout out all that while well, it was still Recycle North for two years, but again, volunteer. Same with the state park. They were just ways to get my feet wet to uh, show the world I was willing and engage, even though I was autistic, ready to engage into a work career. But now I am definitely going to be looking for a another job. I... Like I said, I got done at the local vineyard I was working at because I just felt the job was burning me out. And I felt like my boss was just piling stuff on me to do. And it was all like heavy physical labor that was just tiring me out. And then I had nothing major, but I had a few like health issues. One was a starting of a stomach ulcer that thankfully I dealt with. And recently I've had... A case of the shingles, which if anyone knows what that is. And also I was diagnosed with high blood pressure, which is on me because I am someone who is overweight. And that's something I'm working on. I also want to document my weight loss journey, maybe a little bit. And just enough so I can make videos to document what things worked for me and what didn't so if I can help someone else out that is struggling with it and maybe is trying to work their way for it woman man whatever I think most of the stuff I do will probably be geared more towards helping women out with that only because of how I identify but maybe some of the stuff I can do can work for a male as well um anyways that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, sorry for the long rambling video. I think I've pretty much touched on everything. And again, like I said, you, you might still, I don't know if I said it in the beginning of this video, but you might still see some repairs on tractors, maybe of the ones that I keep that I physically use on my property. But other than if they need like maintenance maybe here and there but other than that I'm I think I'm pretty much going to be done with them and I'm hoping that most of them this year will get maintenance enough to where I won't really need to do much of anything to them so you're probably not going to see any more of that in the near future just like I explained a lot of variables and I've come like I said I've come to the realization in my life that I have to live my life for me, especially after a death in the family of one of my brothers who was the middle child in our family had passed away. It made me open my eyes and realize that I have to express myself, be myself, whether family members or anyone around me are going to fully accept and agree with it because... You only live once in life and I have to free myself because I can't keep living this trapped lie and trying to be manly and and uh, work on stuff. And it's also hard knowing that I went through male puberty and suffer with all of the feelings of that and realizing why didn't I do it when I was younger because I would have been so much happier just living my life because there were so many signs when I'm when I was younger and it wasn't just down to the dolls and uh, wearing mom's clothes and stuff like that it, there were a lot of other variables I saw it in myself and I just didn't 
do anything about it. And so, now, like I said, now I'm just realizing I have to express myself and I have to be free with myself. And I hope, again, that a lot of you, before I close out this video, will be on that journey and on that ride for me and be okay with watching my videos and seeing the gradual change inside of me. And, it, and it's going to be gradual because even the female hormones only take or take up to five years sometimes for development but i might get lucky and might develop further because i've been trying to eat more healthy fats of course and um, also because my hormone levels were kind of fluctuated a little bit here and there so therefore my my uh, um development might be slightly more but it varies from person to person so anyways uh thank you so much youtube folks i think that's where i'm gonna leave it because i could keep going um please please i hope you stay on the journey with me and i hope that maybe i get some other people that might enjoy my videos as well to boost my video rating because i know my videos are not good and of course as always you will never see me become part of the youtube algorithm and i will not be a charity case and a donate to me and send me things that niche into something i will never do that so just always remember that that if you're watching me you're watching the real me and i have nothing against people who want to do that on youtube and make money off of youtube but i purely do not want to because i don't want to feel obligated to when i'm having an anxiety moment to make sure you have a video of the best quality and all that stuff so as always keep your heads up stay strong all that kind of jazz have an excellent time whatever it is wherever you are don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wouldn't mind please full notification i would really love i'll accept half but if you decide you do not want the notifications that is fine too and i want you to comment with any of your feedback for me and anything i can do differently because i like constructive criticism because being a scorpio and a real person i believe that i deserve that criticism and i can take it you know within reason as long as it's not like something ultimately blatantly uh like offensive but if it's like true constructive criticism i am all open for that because i want to improve and like i said i really want to make youtube videos that are of quality and as always sunshine unicorns and rainbows and i will catch you in the next youtube video youtube folks and youtube people all out on the metaverse or whatever you want to call it um and i will see you later